Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking whip finishes. So, how do I whip finish? Not that that matters. I use my mitts. I prefer to use my hands where I can, but I've seen a lot of people struggle to whip finish by hand, and those that do do it, a lot of people don't do it very well. And that's where a tool comes in handy. Actually, let's have a look at this one. This is an original Frank Mattarelli. Ooh, I know, an original. So, not one of those cheap, nasty knockoffs. And some of the more expensive ones are still poor renditions of this little tool. But if you manage to track one down, you will pay a lot more than this tool is actually worth. If that matters to you, go for it. But the Loon Ergo Whip Finisher does a great job. I'm pretty impressed with this guy. So I've been using it for a couple of months now and it has a cutter built into the end. I've seen people complain online about this cutter um, not being sharp enough. I think that's for a reason because if, you, if you're tying properly and you're not putting the, your tools down and they live in your hand, I don't know that I'd want this cutter to be any sharper than it is. Knock yourself out if you want it sharper and want to live dangerously. Um, go for it. But the main key to cutting your thread is to keep tension on the thread and then popping that sharp edge against the thread and it should cut. Arguably even gel spun should, but if you're using gel spun or Kevlar, maybe a pair of scissors would do the trick better. The other thing that people have commented on is that this notch isn't deep enough. Um, I beg to differ. I think that's a skill issue or muscle memory, whatever you want to call it. If we look at these two side by side, you can see the original Mattarelli at the front and the Loon Ergo arm at the back, this guy here. That notch is more than deep enough. Uh, you shouldn't be having any issues with your thread slipping out. Matter of fact, you want it to slip out. So there's plenty of videos online that will take you through how to whip finish. If you're interested in me doing a whip finishing video, I'm more than happy to have a crack and add to the thousand that are already out there. But um, I just wanted to talk about this tool. So the other thing to note is that the handle, the ergo handle, is quite small. Um, I've got size large Sims glove hands and you can see that it fits into my palm of my hand nicely. I wanted this to be a little bit bigger, but in use, I actually really enjoy using this tool because you've got this flat that you can grip with two fingers or three fingers and just do a whip finish really nicely with it. It gives you that dexterity and fine control and yeah, I'm impressed. Check one out if you have a need for a whip finish. finisher. If you know how to whip finish by hand and can do it properly, probably not for you, but if you're struggling and want to get a tool, you'll probably have this in 27 years time the same way I've got my Frank Mattarelli um, and will continue to have because, well, I don't use it anymore. But whip finishes have a place. This is a good tool. So yeah, highly endorse it. If you have any questions or have any thoughts, if you've used this tool and have experience with it, uh, chime in. Chime in and let us know in the comments what you think and, um, and what your experiences are with it. Love to hear.